Welcome everyone and welcome to Featherston Drive Public Schools Kindergarten Information Night. Uh, this is a first for all of us to do this on a live YouTube channel, but uh, some good learning for us and thank you very much for joining us. Uh, my name is Brian Chesson. I am principal here at Featherston Drive. It's my third year here and I'm joined by my partner in crime, Mahal Bari who is the school's vice principal. This is her second year with us. Uh, you'll also see that we have Amira Boutaleb, who's our English kindergarten teacher this year, who's, who was able to join us. Thanks for giving a quick wave, Amira. And she'll be here for the duration of the slide presentation as well, and then to answer some questions if necessary at the end. Okay, uh, we're very proud of our school. Lots of active learning takes place at Featherston and we see students who are consistently engaged all the time. Without further ado, let's get started with our presentation. Share screen, there you go. Share sound, share, okay. Okay, so we're gonna go to present. Okay, and here we go. Welcome to kindergarten. We're ready to help your child explore. We'll start off with our acknowledgement of Algonquin territory. So we acknowledge that our learning is taking place on unceded and unsurrendered territory, Algonquin territory, sorry. We thank the Algonquin nation for hosting us and recognize their endurance, their enduring presence on this land. So this evening with us, here are the things you're going to learn about. We're gonna start off with a message from our director. Then you'll learn about our school community, the kinder program, the extended day programs, transportation details, getting ready for kindergarten, program options here at Featherston and in the district in general, uh, family reception center services and dates to remember uh, connected to registration. And now we're going to play a short video from uh, Camille Williams-Taylor, our superintendent. Wait, where's the video? Welcome to kindergarten and welcome to the OCDSB. We know that this will be the start of a wonderful educational journey for your child. Our kindergarten teachers and early childhood educators look forward to working with you and your child as we embark together on an exciting two years of learning. Our full day kindergarten program is the launch point to an array of programs that the OCDSB offers. During your child's school presentation, you will hear about the opportunities that your child will have to develop their French language skills. In the kindergarten program, our students receive exposure to both French and English language programming in a 50-50 format. They will have the opportunity to develop a strong foundation in both official languages as they begin their educational journey. You will also hear about the early French immersion program where starting in grade one, your child will spend the majority of their day being taught in the French language. Students can also enter French immersion in grade four in the middle French immersion program where two thirds of their day is taught in the French language. In the English and alternative programs, students receive instruction in English as well as 200 minutes per week of French instruction. This is called Core French. All of these programs are available to all of our students. It is your choice. We look forward to welcoming you to our schools and don't hesitate to reach out to your child's designated school to learn more. The first day of school in kindergarten is the first day of a wonderful road ahead. Our OCDSB team is eager to welcome you, your child, and your family to our learning community. Okay, thank you for listening to that. We'll move on with the next slide. So a place for every student. 
Students are why we are here. To serve every student, each one must be seen, heard, and know they matter within the OCDSB community. The OCDSB has a strong commitment to human rights, equity, and inclusion. We continue to work together to dismantle barriers to learning and to help all students achieve success. With a focus on human rights and equitable practice, the OCDSB is committed to creating welcoming and safe spaces for all students. Meeting the individual needs of each student. So our learning support team here at school is always available to schools to support our early learners. We have LSTs, learning support teachers, sorry, psychologists, social workers, speech and language pathologists, who are all part of the specialists who can assist. If you do feel that your child may require additional learning support, you would reach out to me, the principal, to determine next steps. Indigenous education supports. Do you identify as First Nations, Métis, or Inuit? We have an Indigenous education learning team. And if you want to learn more about the support provided, you can contact, as you see right here, the Vice Principal of Indigenous Education by email. Her name is Jody Alexander, and that's her email address right there. Okay. At registration, when it comes down to, when it comes down to registering, registering your child, sorry, you can complete the voluntary and confidential self-identification. Feel free to visit the OCDSB website for details on resources. Or again, you can email the vice principal, Jody Alexander, for more information on this piece. So here you see two, uh, we have two visuals, our community of character on the, on the left and exit outcomes on the right. So the OCDSB's community of character wheel is a set of attributes that provide a set, uh, a standard of behavior. At the OCDSB, our vision of, for, of student success goes beyond the classroom. Our goal is to prepare students to be successful in life. The OCDSB exit outcomes identify five characteristics and five skills that we are trying to develop in each and every student. This work does begin in kindergarten and we hope that by the time students graduate, they will move confidently into the world, equipped with a strong academic foundation and the learning skills they need to navigate future pathways. So here we'll touch more on, on our school specifically. So welcome to our school, Featherson Drive Public School. In terms of academic programs, we offer the following. So the English program that starts in junior kindergarten and goes right up to grade eight. We also offer middle French immersion. So that starts in grade four, straight up to grade eight. We'll talk more about that in one of the later slides. We also have an autism program. That's one of our specialized class programs uh, that can range from kindergarten to grade eight. We currently have four ASD classes. Only three are currently in school. We have another one that's entirely learning uh, remotely due to COVID-19. We have an English literacy development class. Those are known as ELD system classes. And the one we have here at Featherston is for grades six to eight students. They can have a maximum of 12 students in those classes. And I forgot to mention that our ASD classes can only have six students each and they are accompanied by one teacher and two educational assistants. And we have an instrumental music program here at the intermediate level. So that's grade seven and eight. In terms of extracurriculars, we have tons to offer here. We've listed just a few of them. We have an environmental club, a leadership club. We've had chess club in recent years, creative writing, hacker gals, which promotes computer coding for girls. We have instrumental music, as we mentioned. We've had a choir and a band, an annual musical, competitive sports, intramural sports, and we offer a breakfast program, just to name a few of our favorites. And now you get to meet some of our team members. So the first slide here is focused on teachers. So you see on the left, Madame France, uh, she wasn't able to join us, but we have her picture. Uh, she is the morning teacher and does the French component with our JK and SK learners. Uh, Mrs. B, so Amira Boutaleb, who is with us today, you were able to meet um, sort of in person, I guess. Uh, we don't have her picture, sadly, but she's with us now. She is the English teacher in the afternoons. 
We also have Madame Pattinson, who is a prep teacher. She spends a bit of time with the kids as well. And Mr. Downey on the right, who is also a prep teacher. So what that means is that they are there uh, to replace Madame France and Ms. Ms. B when they are on their preparation time, okay, so that the kids are not left unattended. Uh, uh, equally uh, crucial to the team, we have our early, uh, early childhood educators known as ECEs. So here at Featherston, we have two ECEs. We have Miss Caitlin, whose picture is on the left, or her photo, sorry, and Miss Raja on the right, um, who are part of the kindergarten team. Miss Caitlin starts in the morning, and Miss Raja comes in at 11, at, at 10.45 to do the, the, uh, the later shift. So there is some um, overlap between the two. Okay, so they both spend equal amounts of time with the kids. So. Welcome to kindergarten. All children's learning and development occur in the context of relationships with other children, parents, and other family members, educators, and the broader environment. The importance of early experiences for a child's growth and development is recognized in the design of our current kindergarten program, which starts with the understanding that all children's learning and development occur in the context of relationships with other kids, parents, other family members, educators, and as mentioned, the broader environment. The program is play-based and also focused on inquiry learning. And it's most definitely a team approach. You've met, uh, well, you've seen the photos of several team members, so they all work together on this one. The OCDSB's kindergarten program is a two-year program. Year one and year two students are grouped together with 50% of their instructional time in English and another 50% en français, in French. If your child will be four or five years old by December, or I should say if they were four or five by December 31st of 2020, uh, they can start in kindergarten for next September. Considering there's a broad range of development with children at this age, by combining these two groups together, JK and SK, children are able to develop at their own rate, flowing freely between the expectations of our two-year program. To speak to play-based learning a bit, uh, as you're aware, children are full of natural curiosity and they explore this curiosity through play. Teachers and ECEs structure play to create learning moments, taking into account student physical, intellectual, social, and emotional needs. And to speak to the team approach a little further, each kinder class is led by a team composed of a teacher and two ECEs as mentioned. On average, classes have uh, 26 students, um, although depending on enrollment, class sizes can range anywhere from approximately 10 to a maximum of 28. This year, that maximum is 29, but next year, as per ministry mandate, it will be 28. We are uh, extremely fortunate at Featherston. This year, we have a, a very small cohort. Um, Amira, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I think we have 11 students. And that's fortunate in the sense that we can just ha have that much more time to spend one on one with those kids, right? They have a lot more of the attention rather than if we had a group of 28. Uh, just so that you're aware, they also get 300 uh, minutes of instructional time every day. And students are assessed based on their growth in relation to the overall program expectations from the four frames of learning in the kinder program. Those will be discussed further in, in, uh, in slide 15, on slide 15, sorry. As mentioned, it's a bilingual program in kindergarten. There's high quality kindergarten programming that's delivered in both languages. There are no specific expectations for French language acquisition in the kinder program. So they are exposed to it 50% of the time, but it is not commented on when it comes to reporting times. Oral language is the focus, building communication skills in English and in French, as well as nonverbal skills. Each child will experience and grow in this program in a way that is unique to them based on their unique developmental profile. As promised, here are the four frames of the kindergarten program, okay? And the four frames are named as follows, uh, belonging and contributing, self-regulation and well-being, 
demonstrating literacy and mathematics behaviors and problem solving and innovating. So those four frames align perfectly with the four foundational conditions needed for children to grow and for them to flourish. So they're found in, they're found in the inner circle and are listed as belonging, well-being, expression, and engagement. So just to touch a little bit on each of the four frames to give you a broader sense of what those look like. For belonging and contributing, your, um, your child's teachers, uh, when it comes to reporting periods, may comment on the sense of connectedness to others. Uh, your child's relationship with others, their contributions as part of a group, a community, and the natural world, their understanding of the community around them, and in a more global sense as well. For self-regulation and well-being, they may be assist, uh, assessed sorry, on their own thinking and feelings, their respect for differences in others, regulating their emotions and assessing consequences of their actions, or their physical and mental health and wellness. Literacy and math, communicating thoughts and feelings uh, through gestures, uh, physical movements, words, uh, symbols, and representations of number and pattern during play and inquiry. And for the last frame, problem solving and innovating, you might hear about their, uh, their, exploration, their exploration of the world through natural curiosity in ways that engage the mind, the senses, and the body on asking questions, testing theories, solving problems, and engaging in creative thinking. This slide uh, focuses on the assessment, evaluation, and reporting. So all kindergarten students are assessed for learning on an ongoing basis, okay? And that helps teachers inform uh, next steps for your child, okay? So assessment and evaluation in kinder definitely focuses more on growth versus achievement. Feedback is provided to students and their parents on an ongoing basis, okay? So here at Featherston and at other schools, I'm sure that can look, that can have um, a different looks, right? So it can be via phone call and email. Uh, we have a Google Notes, I believe, or a Google Sites that we use and all parents are a part of, where we can share photos and general messaging for the parent community. And currently, we're also using the Seesaw app to share what your students are doing and what they're accomplishing at school, okay, on an ongoing basis. All four members of our team uh, are, are regular users of Seesaw and Google Sites uh, and communicate uh, a lots for the parent community. So in the fall, uh, you would receive an initial observation uh, document. That's how we assess the children. So it is, uh, that's not the one that's shown on the slide actually. The one you're seeing on the slide is the communication of learning. So that's found, or that's provided to you at the end of term one and at the end of term two. Uh, term one, you would receive that in late January, early February. This year it's going home, I think on February 9th and also at the end of June. The initial observation from the fall, you would get uh, likely in early November. Extended day program. So the district operates the extended day program for ages 3.8 years to 12 years where there is sufficient interest in, uh, within the school community. Uh, EDP programs are run either by the district or by a third party provider in partnership with the district, with the OCDSB. At Featherston, it is a, a district program. It is not third party. Both types of programs, however, are overseen by the OCDSB. Registration for this program is completely separate to the process for kindergarten registration. Both programs offer safe and caring before and after school options for your child. We'll get into specifics in terms of registering for that later on in the presentation. Uh, more about the program here. So it's offered before and after the regular school day. Our school day, just so you're aware, is from 9.15 to 3.45. It's delivered by registered early childhood educators and one early learning assistant here at Featherston. It's led by two educators for groups of 30 children. It operates on most PA, PA days as well, some days over the, the winter break, March break, and summer break at select location. P 
Please note, operation on these dates is dependent on demand. So that's always the case, dependent on demand. And uh, the decision can sometimes be uh, not necessarily last minute, but it might take a while to determine whether it's happening or not, based on interest. For registration information on ADP, you can go to ocdsv.ca and select childcare. Uh, hours for EDP at Featherston, it would operate from 7 to the start of the school day and then from the end of the school day, 3.45 until 6 p.m. Okay. You, and, and you as a parent have the option of registering your child in the, only for the morning, only for the afternoon or both. Fees wise, for the next school year, uh, the fees range uh, between $22.50 to $27 per day for both before and after school care, depending on the amount of sessions a child is regist for, registered for in a week. The fee for optional days, so that's for PA days or for March break, for example, would be $35 a day. Before and after care fees will be site specific based on the start time of the school day at the site. And EDP fees are the responsibility of the parents or guardians. Now, speaking of fees, we do have subsidy options. Uh, there is limited financial assistance, but it is, uh, it is a possibility. A child care subsidy will be available to families that meet the criteria uh, for eligibility. You need to contact the City of Ottawa for this to apply for the subsidy by phone, and you can click or press the 311 option. Uh, you select the language and option for daycare. Okay, they are open Monday to Friday between 8.30 and 4.30. Uh, just, to, just to make sure you're aware, uh, all parents, some of this information that you might not be able to catch or write down, uh, please free to send me an email anytime after the presentation, uh, brian with an I dot chiasson, C-H-I-A-S-S-O-N at ocdsb.ca. Uh, that address can be found on our, web, on our school website as well. Just send us an email, call the school, we'll be happy to send you that information uh, as soon as possible. Transportation. Uh, so that's through OSTA, the Ottawa Student Transportation Authority. You can visit their website or follow them on Twitter. You see their information on the screen. Again, you can contact me for that later if, you don't, if you're not able to capture it. Uh, to get information about the bus stop finder, school bus delays, empty seat applications, and safety tips. So empty seats, uh, that means uh, sometimes based on your physical address, you do not qualify for busing because you're considered too close to the school. And you'll see just under those bullets, uh, uh, school bus transportation is available to all kinder students who live more than 0.8 kilometers from their school. So if you're less than 0.8 kilometers, you are considered a walker, but you can apply for an empty seat. Uh, and that basically means that once the bus routes are up and running, uh, typically we wait a good three or four weeks for there and we don't consider those until October at the least. If we do see that once things are up and running, there are a few seats available, uh, we, we do invite parents to make a request and then Asta makes the decision as to whether or not we can provide an empty seat to somebody who typically would not qualify. Transportation is not provided to and from the EDP program. That is parent responsibility. What can you as a parent do to help your child prepare for this new beginning? Because I'm sure for, for some of you it's probably brand new and it, it comes with its own set of, of, of anxieties for parents, but we have some tips for you right here. There are many ways that parents can support their child prior to entering kindergarten to prepare them for learning in a school setting. Ensure that your child has ample opportunity to engage in different types of play at home. Provide daily physical activities to help develop gross and fine motor skills. Talk and listen to your child. Make sure your child's nutritional needs are being met. Help your child with daily routines such as getting dressed, feeding, toileting, cleaning up after activities, self-regulating their active and quiet playtimes. Read to your child, preferably daily. Select a variety of books of different lengths and different subjects. Relate the pictures to the story. This enhances language development and stimulates children's curiosity and imagination. Talk with and listen to your child about daily activities, 
what he, she is doing, what you are doing. Strong oral communication skills will become a solid foundation for later academic achievement. Encourage other adults in your child's life to emphasize the positive aspects of school, new friends, a caring teacher, opportunities to learn, grow, and just to have fun. Find out the teacher and ECE names ahead of time and use them when discussing school activities in the spring and over the summer. Recognize that it is sometimes just as difficult for you as a parent to face the separation from your child as it is for your child to face separation from you. Take comfort from understanding that these feelings are normal and they will pass on, or they will pass, sorry, as, you, as, your, as your child grow accustomed to a new routine. Discover the route that your child will travel to and from school. Several dress rehearsals will build your child's confidence and help establish safe routines. We do ask that you make sure your child is walking to school accompanied by an adult. Children on buses are met on arrival at and departure from school by the teacher, okay? Or another adult from the school on duty. Children must, I repeat, must be met by an adult when they are dropped off following their day at school. Develop opportunities for your child's exposure to music and rhyming activities, which help the development of reading skills. Accustom your child to consistent routines, such as getting up at a certain time, getting dressed, and so forth. Help your child to develop fine motor skills. Those skills are those that involve small muscles of the body and includes activities like drawing, cutting, and gluing, as well as handling Play-Doh, building towers, stringing large beads on a string, catching a beanbag, or a large ball. Discuss personal safety, busing, and strangers. Be sure your child knows that their name, their address, and phone number. Review the calendar with your child. Circle the day on which your child starts school. You may also wish to mark gym days, class trips, birthdays, and special occasions. Label all your child's belongings. That could include indoor and outdoor clothing, shoes, boots, snack containers, drink containers, and backpack. And prepare your child for successful experiences. Provide opportunities at home with situations that challenge your child to manage alone when toileting, dressing, tidying, and eating. These self-regulation skills help children feel good about themselves and help them realize that they can solve their own problems and be supported when doing so. So parents, this, this uh, slide is, uh, it caters to a, a, another resource for parents from Ottawa Public Health, okay? And um, the, if you go to parentingintottawa.ca slash school readiness, you can find additional information on all these bullets that come from Ottawa Public Health. So everything ranging from child development to communication to sleep to dressing and toileting, it's all there, okay? So not only go to our district website for that information, but also to OPH for extra supports. So. Program options. So as mentioned, the uh, OCDSB 5050 Bilingual Kindergarten is a two-year program. Children can start in the first or second year of kinder, that is your decision. Program choices in the, in the entire board uh, are the following, English with core French, and core French typically is 40 minutes per day if you're in the English stream. Early French immersion, which we do not offer here at Featherston, that starts in grade one and goes right up to grade eight in our elementary schools. Uh, middle French immersion, also known as MFI, this we do offer here at Featherston. It starts in grade eight, right through, uh, sorry, grade four, uh, straight to grade eight uh, in elementary. And there's also the alternative program that we'll speak to in a little bit as well. The program selected is a parental decision. Making the choice. So in terms of programs, ultimately it is your choice. It's a personal choice, but please be aware and mindful that all are welcome, no matter what challenges your children come to us with. Delph results have shown that there is no difference in the final outcomes for students enrolled in EFI versus MFI. There's often this misconception that if students are enrolled in EFI, which is the early French immersion program, because they start earlier, that they will have more uh, more of a French background and will be able to perform better 
in, in terms of using their French in, in society. Uh, that is not the case. Studies show differently that EFI and MFI over time, it tends to balance out. And again, be mindful that support is always available in all programs. For the English program in elementary, the following subjects are taught. So language, math, science and tech, social studies, health and phys ed, the arts, those are all in English. And then you would get the, the, the core French. So core French in total is 200 minutes per week. Typically we schedule it 40 minutes across the week so that it's consistent for the kids from Monday to Friday, if at all possible. The early French immersion program, again, not offered here. Um, after the 50-50 bilingual kinder program, if you're enrolled in EFI, they're provided with, at the grade one level, 80% instruction in French and 20 in English. From grades two to six, it goes to, it reduces to 60% French and then increased to 40% in English. And in intermediate grades, it's 50-50. Please note, mathematics instruction is, uh, in English begins in grade one. MFI, so again, we offer that right here at Featherston. Students uh, in the English program from grades one to three have a, a, a foundation in French. Bilingual kindergarten program is 750 minutes per week of French. And then grades one to three, they get 200 minutes per week of core French. Uh, if you make that decision to transfer to MFI come grade four, students do get the opportunity to build proficiency in French. They will get 66% of their instruction from grades four to six en français and 34% in English. In intermediate, grades seven and eight, uh, it balances out again to 50-50 in each language. But just be reminded that uh, throughout all this, uh, they do get their mathematics instruction in English, along with English language for MFI. Uh, you might have heard uh, me mention DELF in one of the previous slides. That is uh, equivalent to a grade 12 French proficiency test. Uh, it defines six different levels of French proficiency. It's offered, it's not mandatory, but it is offered to all students enrolled in the grade 12 French as a second language course. That can be core French in an English stream or immersion. In 2018, 2019, 88% of eligible students did choose to participate and a whopping 96% were successful. So that's wonderful, wonderful news. Level B2 has been the most popular level uh, historically for students to challenge. Previous research indicates that success rates on the highest level offered in the OCDSB, which is B2, were not significantly different for students who had been enrolled in an EFI or an MFI program in grade eight. So as I mentioned earlier, studies definitely support the fact that no matter the program that they're enrolled in, uh, ultimately it ends up balancing out. Students enrolled in a core French pathway from uh, grade eight to grade 12 demonstrated high levels of success on the DELF with the majority of participating students choosing the level B1. So again, that would reflect students that are in the English stream and have those minutes of core French um, every day. So now a bit more detail on the alternative program. English instruction for all subjects other than core French. And the foundation of the alternative education philosophy includes the following. So cooperation and teamwork are definitely emphasized. We do lots of that here in a, in a non-alternative program as well, but it's, it's definitely a core focus in alternative sites. A commitment to innovative approaches to teaching and to learning. There's a, a significant focus on project-based learning with a balance between student-directed and teacher-directed learning. They do foster mixed age groupings and classrooms fostering collaboration. Uh, we integrate curriculum stressing, stressing excuse, interrelation of all learning and subjects. There's definitely a family and community-centered school environment. There's collaboration with parents and community members and ongoing assessment and evaluation. Definitely a reduced emphasis on grading and more on an anecdotal notes and observations and growth, okay? Less of a focus on, 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 on matching a grade to a subject area.
Family reception center. Who comes to the family reception center? What we do, make an appointment with us. So, if you're new to Canada, if you have a school-aged child and English is not your first language, uh, the OCDSB's FRC, the Family Reception Center, can assist with enrolling your child in school. The center staff will provide an assessment and guidance for English language learners and their families, and can connect newcomer families with a multicultural liaison officer if needed. Please call 613-239-2416 if interested for assistance. So the phone number is not on the slide. I apologize. I have it here in my notes. Uh, but you do have the email address there. Again, just give us a call or send me an email if you'd like the phone number. Currently at Featherston, we have uh, three multicultural liaison officers, which is wonderful. We, we make significant use of each and every one of them. They are extremely useful uh, to help relay important information to our families uh, who may have experienced a bit of a language barrier, okay? To relay information or for them to be able to share concerns with us. So we have one who speaks uh, uh, Somali, and we have one who speaks uh, Nepali and Russian, and a, a new one that's been attached to our school, which is great news, uh, who speaks Arabic and Farsi. Register now. So registration is now open for kindergarten in, in September 2021. Uh, even though the period is now open, you can register at any time, like well into the school year, including the summer. Uh, the earlier the better. If, if you register now, then we're able to get a better sense of what our class sizes look like when we're staffing later in the spring. Uh, again, if your child is four years old by December 31st of 2021, you can register in kindergarten. I think that should say 2020. 2020 of uh, just this past December, okay? Uh, visit the website slash kindergarten to learn more about our program and a link to online registration. That link is extremely user friendly. It really does guide you step by step what you need to do. And if you do need help with that, for whatever reason, that is just fine. You can call our main office and they will be happy to walk you through it. In non-COVID-19 times, we would certainly invite you to do that with us face-to-face. -face. But for the time being, we are, we are not able to have parents and guests in the building. Uh, we would need to do that over the phone if at all possible, okay? The student transfer application period is from February 1st to February 16th of this year. Many, many thanks for joining us this evening. We hope you will choose to become part of our family here at Featherston, uh, our family and our community. So at this point, uh, we are going to see if we have any questions from, uh, from our parent community. We, can't, we sadly can't hear your questions on this live stream, but uh, the lovely Maha behind me is looking at the uh, questionnaire that you were uh, given access to, I think as of Friday of last week. Do we have any questions? Okay, there are no questions on there. Uh, that's okay. There was one the other day and we did respond directly to the parent. So hopefully that did answer your question. I'm actually going to show my picture again. Start video, sorry. Sorry about that. Uh, hopefully that did answer your question. And if not, feel free to reach out again uh, via email or give us a call, okay? Uh, Ms. B, any, any parting thoughts? Anything else we forgot to mention about all the wonderful stuff happening in, in Kinderland? No, I think, I think uh, you threw it quite thoroughly. Um, I just wanted to say it's a wonderful school. Um, the staff is lovely and uh, the kindergarten team is really, really passionate about, about teaching and about, you know, children's well-being. So, Anyone who has their kid registered at Featherston, they'll be very, very happy with the team. That's what we like to hear. Thanks so much for sharing your thoughts, madam. I'm just gonna, sh I'm gonna stop sharing the presentation. Okay, all right. So uh, thank you again, Ms. B. We are gonna make sure to give you our phone number if you have a pen and paper. The phone number here at Featherston is 613-731-3357. Uh, the office is open uh, despite the current restrictions upon us. Uh, we are open here at the office from 8.30 to 4.30. Uh, feel free to give us a call. You can send myself an email or Maha an email. Uh, school locator, if you go on the, on the, um, on the OCDSB website, uh, there's a feature entitled school locator. Uh, that's probably under the registration. Yeah, it's the step one. 
yeah, a re it's step one of registration, school locator. Basically, all you have to do it is pretty straightforward. You just type in your address, and depending on what program you're thinking of, it will tell you whether or not Featherston is your home school, okay, or if it's possibly a neighboring school. We do have quite a few schools around us, uh, elementary and secondary. So depending on the program you're up, you're wanting for your child, early French immersion or middle French immersion or alternative, uh, you would be you'd be assigned a different home school based on your address. Again, if you need help to find the locator or to use it, you can just give us a call. We will gladly help you with that, okay? So on that note, uh, Ms. Maha, Ms. B, if that's it, I guess we'll, we'll say farewell to everyone. Again, thank you. Thank you very much for joining us. Have a good evening, be well, stay safe, and looking forward to having you all join us uh, in September of next year. Bye, everyone. Bye.